So about 10 years ago, I was doing some fundraising for a charity I was volunteering at. I put my love and passion of video games to good use by reaching out to video game developers to see if they wanted to aid my fundraising by donating autocraft video games, merchandise and memorabilia to be auctioned off for charity on eBay with 100% of the proceeds going towards the charity. Now I've got some really cool stuff donated and managed to raise over £8,000. So I thought today, let's show you some of those really cool items that got donated. Let's take a look. Okay, so here are all the photos of everything I auctioned. Some of the photos I seem to have lost and I can't find them anywhere. This is not in the correct order, although most of it is of when I received the donations. Just that the camera seemed to have muddled all of them up. And the camera at the time wasn't great, but it was suitable for all I had. So let's go through it all. Here's a signed Assassin's Creed 3 disc. A Dis Dishonored Special Edition with a signed inlay. Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 signed by Guerrilla Games. Crash Bandicoot. Print of an original sketch signed by Charles. And a Spyro one as well. He gave me three of each of these. Conquer, a plush of Conquer from Conquer uh, Live and Reloaded, I believe, signed by Chris Seabor. Medieval Resurrection soundtrack, signed by Bob and Barn, the composers. Ah, so this was two large boxes of brand new and sealed PlayStation 3 games, which was given to me by Sony Computer. Interactive America when they were Sony Computer Entertainment America. Surprisingly there are power versions which is a bit strange to have overseas in the US but this certainly went to good use as these were actually quite valuable especially if you're a sealed game collector. So it's amazing when this showed up at my door. Oh this is one of my favourite items. A Parappa the Rapper vinyl signed by the creator of Parappa, Parappa the Rapper. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Games, signed by the composer Joss Mansell. Time splitters. So these um, I actually had myself and sent them off to numerous people to be signed. And number three is signed by the voice actor of Sergeant Cortez, Tom Clark Hill. Uh, Little Big Planet by Media Molecule, a signed Japanese version, and a special edition developers only inlay signed by the development team. So these Spyro games I had myself and sent them off to Insomniac Games signed by Ted Price, Alex Hastings and Brian Hastings. Uh, Uncharted 3 soundtrack signed by the composer Greg Edmondson. Grid 2, signed by Codemasters. Ah, now this was incredibly generous by the Dead Space development team. These were Dead Space 3 Dev Team Editions, limited to 5,000, covered it in signatures. I got two of these, I believe. A Dead Space book, signed by the team. A Diablo 2 Battle Chest, signed by a David Brevek, 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 I believe. Apologies for the pronunciation. Oh, this is another great one. Diablo 3 Collector's Edition, signed by the team. Assassin's Creed 3 again. Another disc, signed. Tomb Raider Collects Edition, signed by the team, signed by Crystal Dynamics. Had a little sleeve to go with the tin. Survival kit. Little Big Planet Karting, signed by the team on the, I think the manual or the inlay or whatever it was on the inside. Ah, inlay, online pass. Art of Dead Space book, signed by the team. The Dead Space team were very generous. Halo 4, signed by 343 Industries. Covered in signatures. 
Uh, Guild Wars 2 Collector's Edition, signed by the team. A very nice piece. Did get a little battered up in transit, which was a shame. Very large Collector's Edition. Ah, uh, yeah, here's the other Dead Space 3 Dev Team Edition. Ah, The Last of Us by Naughty Dog, signed, covered in signatures once again. Grand Theft Auto 5, signed by, I believe, the producer Leslie Benzies. Very hard to get anything signed that is Grand Theft Auto related. Oh, now this was incredible. Uh, Deep Silver Volition, if that's how you pronounce it, apologies if it's not. They gave me, I think, three or four collector's editions. Absolutely covered in signatures, and these were very, very large collector's editions. Never seen so many signatures in my life. Another Last of Us, signed by Naughty Dog. Another Saint Row. And a PS3 version of GTA, signed by Leslie Benzies again. Chrono Cross posters. Or it might be just one poster, signed by Masato Kato, if that's how you pronounce it. Again, apologies if I butchered the name. Little sign note, I still have that note actually. And then he did a sketch for me on a piece of paper, which I auctioned off as well. Final Fantasy Online, signed by him. And Chrono Trigger as well. Halo 3, signed by Bungie. Very nice piece if you're a Halo fan. Ah, Game of the Generation Edition Saints Row, covered in signatures. Again, these were um, mishandled in transit, unfortunately, but still very nice pieces. Twisted Metal. I think I got about five copies of this, signed by David Jaffe. Halo Reach by Bungie again. Collects edition. Signed. In hard to see signatures. Kills and Shadowfall by Guerrilla Games. Signed. More Twisted Metal. Little Big Planet PlayStation Vita version. Signed by Double Eleven Studios. Rai Son of Rome, signed by Crytek. Startup Fox Adventures, another game which I had myself, which I sent to numerous people, signed by voice actors and developers. Another Twisted Metal. And another one. Need for Speed Rivals, signed by Ghost Games. Battlefield 4, signed by the development team. And a little note there as well, which I still have. And a nice t-shirt they sent me. Development team t-shirt with signatures on it. Apescape, signed by, I believe, the exec executive producer, Shuhei Yoshida, who still works at PlayStation to this day. With a signed letter from him, which I... Do I still have that one? Yes, I think I do still have that one. New Speed Rivals, Xbox 360 version, signed by Ghost Games. Gran Turismo, signed by the, again, I believe, executive producer, Shuhei Yoshida. Need for Speed Rivals, Xbox One version, signed by Ghost Games. More Rapescape, more Twisted Metal, a Nintendo 2DS, donated by, I think, maybe Xbyte, a company which sells games, consoles, amongst other things. I think it was Xbyte. Ah, oh, Dark Souls 3, uh, 2, sorry, Collector's Edition. Very difficult to get 
Japanese signatures and this one was great came with a certificate of authenticity as well Forza 5 Motorsport signed all over a very nice game that one and day one edition a Battlefield 4 piece of art signed by the art team I think I got two or three of those as well. Killzone Mercenary, signed by Sony Cambridge, I believe. Oh, no, Gorilla Cambridge, sorry. So this was someone's Uncharted Drake's Fortune press kit, which they sent to me. I got in contact with Naughty Dog at the time, sent it over, and they were happy to sign it, knowing that all the money was that the person would buy it back off me who was the original owner of it, and the money would go to charity. And this is a, I think, a Killer Instinct, I think, cartridge. I don't know why the front of it might show up later, uh, which I got signed, which I passed on to be signed as well. A Ratchet & Clank Going Commando lunch box bag is given to me by one of the developers of the game. Bulletstorm Epic Edition by People Can Fly, signed... Another Killzone Mercenary. Gears of War Judgment, signed again by People Can Fly. Batman Arkham Origins Collects Edition, signed by the development team. I think it was signed on the art books, the art book came loose as well. Tomb Raider trading card, a, seal, a factory sealed booster box and a pewter figure given to me by one of the developers. Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, another copy which I had and I passed along to the developers, Lorne Lanning and Sherry McKenna, I believe, to be signed. Oddworld, new and tasty. Poster signed by Lorne Lanning and the Just Add Water development team. Yu Gi Oh! Uh, duel mats, which you would uh, use to keep your cards nice and clean whilst you're having a duel, given to me by Konami. Devil May Cry. Now, I believe a lot of these, um, which you see the same signature on, were signed by the producer or director or something, sent all the way over to Japan. I think to send, send, I sent them over to Tango Gameworks, I believe, and had to pass through a number of hands to get this signature of Shinji Mikami. The Creative Assembly, Total War of Rome, signatures, deck of cards, book, signed. Oddworld Aids Exodus signed again by Sherry McKenna and Lorne Lanning. Another copy of mine which I sent over. Dino Crisis signed by Shinji Mikami. All these copies of Dino Crisis and Resident Evil games which you see with the signature were mine which I sent along. Perfect Dark signed by the development team. Another copy I owned which I sent off to be signed and sold online for charity. Dino Crisis 2, signed by Shinji Mikami. More stuff given to me by Konami. Yu-Gi-Oh! Special Editions, Starter Decks and Tins, factory sealed. FIFA, a new, numerous copies given to me by EA Sports. I think I got PS4, 360 and Xbox One versions, I believe. Resident Evil, signed by Shinji Mikami. Resident Evil 2. Signed by Shinji Mikami. And Resident Evil 3. Signed by Shinji Mikami. Yeah, PS4 version of FIFA. And the, the special edition, I believe, of Resident Evil 4. Signed by Shinji Mikami. 
another lovely piece of Battlefield 4 art signed by the art team. Ah, Crash Bandicoot, signed by the development team. Uh, this is the only one I've actually seen outside of any, anyone's hands of, other than Naughty Dogs. This went for quite a lot of money. Only I think only the developers and Sony executives got this. Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, signed by the team. 360 version, signed by the team. Motorstorm Apocalypse, I think that is. Press kit, donated and signed by the team. Sleeping Dogs, promo copy, signed by some of the team members at, at I think it was Square Enix again. Uncharted 2 soundtrack, signed by the composer Greg Edmondson. Yeah, and that is actually all of it, so... Yeah, this was a really fun thing to do and got got hold of some really cool things and raised a great deal of money for charity. I hope you enjoyed looking through this. Thank you for watching.